Hey y'all, it is Monday, June 19th, 2023. And in this video, I'm going to go over some of the uh, pairs that I'm looking for, the Asian Silver Bullet time. Um, as many of you know, the Asian Silver Bullet is not something that Michael teaches um, or Inner Circle Trader teaches. Uh, it is simply the fourth time that I have created that uses the exact same principles as the other uh, Silver Bullets, which is uh, initial volatility on the open into algorithms converging on on an inefficiency and then seeking liquidity. So um, you don't expect as big of a move during uh, during an Asian time frame. However, periodically, especially on some of the metals like uh, copper, um, there's a lot of movement. Uh, I would assume that's because there's a big construction in industry in China and they use a lot of copper. Um, but some of the uh, non-index futures, so and even I have seen NQ move during uh, during the Asian Asian session as well, uh, enough for a trade. So just uses the exact same principles, which is an uh, during the opening hour looking for an inefficiency that we can uh, trade into and then seek liquidity. So. With that being said, um, last night I tried a sort of relative strength analysis to get my setups and get the markets that I was looking for, and that doesn't appear to be um, as productive as looking for some of the low-hanging fruit um, inefficiencies that are popping up. So. With that being said, um, I do want to give you some of the pairs that I'm looking for. Uh, again, if you enjoy my content, you enjoy the videos, or you hate my content, hate my videos, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, uh, or dislike. That is also interacting with the video. I also have um, Top Step and Apex Trader Funding referral links. I do get a kickback if you sign up for Apex Trader Funding using my referral link, referral link which is in the description box below. Um, so that would mean a lot to me. Only if you were already going to trade an evaluation account, uh, please don't uh, please don't think that I'm trying to pressure you into signing up for an evaluation account. I'm not. It's only if you were going to anyways. So with that being said, um, I am watching, I'm monitoring the Japanese yen and I, I believe that the yen is accumulating for a move higher. Um, so we do have an inefficiency that's sitting lower at spot 007143 area and potentially I'll see how tr uh, how we trade uh, during the Tokyo Open during the Asian silver uh, time frame but we have an inefficiency that's sitting here uh, below price. I'm looking to go long on the yen. Um, we've been plundered to the sell side. We're going to have a lot of liquidity which ha which would have built up by this point. Um, to the upside. So I'm watching the Japanese yen and I think there was one more thing that I was watching. Gold has an inefficiency, uh, a liquidity void or a new day opening gap that is sitting currently below price. I'm going to be monitoring that. Although right now I prefer gold to the downside. I wouldn't be surprised if they want to take gold for one more uh, run higher. So, going to be going to be monitoring this liquidity void here at 1962 spot five on gold. So, I'm watching Japanese yen. I'm watching gold. Um, there was one more that I was that had an inefficiency. Let me take a look. Is it Australian dollar? Yeah, so Australian dollar uh, is sitting with some buy side inefficiencies here to the left and a liquidity void sitting up at spot 68810. And I'm th overall, I'm thinking that uh, the Australian dollar probably wants to come down and take out sell side. Now, of course, it might want to do the opposite, so we'll have to wait for the setup time. But I'm monitoring um, an inefficiency buy side inefficiency sitting here on the Australian dollar up around spot 688. So Australian dollar futures watching that. Uh, Japanese yen futures watching this for the long side. Um, and I think yeah so natural gas which has been 
which has been really murdering it to the upside, recently uh, traded into a four hour buy side inefficiency, which you can see with my cursor that I'm highlighting to the left. So I'm also watching natural gas. We just had um, right on resettlement, we had a uh, buy side inefficiency form up at two spot six five five. So I'm going to be monitoring that as well. So I'm going to be leaving you with that. Um, I'm going to be monitoring natural gas for a buy side inefficiency that is currently above price. Uh, monitoring Australian dollar futures for buy side inefficiencies which are currently sitting above price and watching um, Japanese yen futures for accumulation potentially to go and clear out some of this buy side which is sitting uh, sitting above. So that is it. Those are the markets that I'm watching for the this evening. Our setup time is going from 35 minutes from now uh, to an hour that is 20 hundred to 2100 we are looking for an inefficiency in which to enter during that time in order to go target uh, a liquidity pool on a higher time frame that is our setup as it always is and with that I will talk to you later bye